Hello everyone. Thanks for joining me today. We're off to see a pier. Something interesting I've just found at the top of a hill. I thought it was some kind of World War II bunker or something like a pillbox as it's overlooking the sea-ish. But when I've gone round There's kind of nothing going on. That's an odd one. Gate looks to be open. Let's go and have a little look inside. See what we can see. Oh. Ah. There's nothing going on there at all. It's very old, judging by the concrete in the ceiling. But who knows what it was all about originally. Well, that was a bit of a disappointment. Not to worry. It's a bit fresh out today, as you can probably tell. I don't know how the sound's going to come out. I'm hoping it's going to be okay. I've got a wind sock on my microphone, but with this wind, I don't know how good or bad it will be. So apologies for any windiness. I'm on a coastal path. I parked just outside Clevedon and I'm walking my way through. I could have parked a little further in the center. But if I did that, I'd have to pay parking charges. I don't do parking charges unless I really have to. And not only that, it's a lovely walk. Let's get on to the path. Oh. I'm hoping you can see it okay, but that's where I'm heading up to the pier. Fine piece of Victorian engineering. This looks interesting. Let's go inside. Ooh, a room with a view. Lovely job. When I was driving down here, the outside temperature gauge on my car said it was 8 Celsius. I'm not going to disbelieve him. 
I think my hand's nearly frozen to my little tripod that I'm holding. Fair play to those people out in the water having a nice dip. I'm not sure it's the sort of thing for me. I'll probably have a heart attack when the cold water hit me body. I'm trying to make the most of days like this. We're that time of the year where you try to film something, everything's dark and grey. And so it, the pictures don't come out very well. So I'm going to have to try and stick to whenever I get an opportunity on a sunny day. I'll kind of get out whenever I can and do a bit. I love it when it's fresh like this. There you are people. If you're having a bad day and it's beautiful outside, although it's a bit chilly, just go out, enjoy yourself. Get rid of all your stresses and worries. a little look at the pier to be honest I didn't go on it I didn't fancy it so I was getting a bit hungry so I found a nice little spot let's cook some lunch welcome to today's cooking destination Got nearly everything I need here for lunch. All in a neat little package. This is a tricky one today folks, we've got the road that way, we've got people that way walking along the seafront. It's cold and it's windy. Welcome to cooking outdoors. We've got some of these tortillas, I'm going to put some cheese on them. i got some pepper in here. And I've also got some sausage. Let's make some wraps. Don't forget your vegetables. Let's try rolling them up. Nice and easy.
need to get the windshield rain just to help them out a bit. get the lid on as well. We got vanilla and latte. So lunch is getting on. They're toasting slowly. Beautiful job. Let's be brave with the simmering off. Great guns. Ooh. I reckon we're good to go. turned out okay let's try some the good thing is about this weather I didn't have to wait very long for it to cool down very satisfying I've noticed there's a few people have been looking around this old bandstand and they've kind of like gone to come up the little step to come in here and they've taken one look at me and they've kind of gone mm, don't think I'll bother with that I think it's probably because I look like some kind of weirdo hobo When my hands got cold earlier, I was helped out a lot by these. I got these from an army surplus store. I think a Swedish army kind of pull-ons. It's basically like a sleeve. And they just kind of sewed the thumb hole up. But I must say, I've been really impressed. The great thing about this time of year is that we're all going in our wardrobes and going in various drawers and stuff and looking for slightly warmer clothes oh, excuse me and then we start putting them all on and where we look like relatively sane before we all look like mental patients now so we've got all kind of weird colors and layers on <laughs>
X7 bus. I was kind of wondering what to bring out today as it's getting a lot colder out I kind of I bought a flask of hot water to make a drink just to make it a lot easier and a lot quicker and I went for a simple type of food to cook that's amazing I don't know if you can see in there Anyway, it's very nice. The cheese has managed to stick everything together for me. And these little tortilla wraps are ever so versatile. It's been a lovely few hours out and I've been very lucky with the weather today. Right, I better start getting packed up. I've only been here a little while, look at it. stuff this little firebox nano is absolutely excellent for this sort of stuff you probably notice on this that my legs bend in different ways when you buy a nano they go the same way it's connected I've got these going in separate ways because I can still have a wide kind of let's see if I can show you a wide footprint but if I've got a small cup or whatever I can bring these in and just place it on the top just adds a bit of versatility the downside is occasionally these little legs come out so I have to push them back in but you can't have everything. Don't want to be wasting fuel. So there you have it. Was that the best cafe in Cleveland? Probably not. But it was a nice lunch. Time to head off. I got about another 40 minute walk back. But it's okay, it's good exercise. Thanks for coming along. I appreciate your company today. If you want to come out on future adventures don't forget to join me take care everyone I'll see you next time <laughs>